Yo, what is up, my people? And in today's video, I'm going to teach you about the new raid exotic, the Ravenous. All right, this is an exclusive exotic from the raid. You can get it from the bosses or from the chest at the end of the raid. And it absolutely slaps. As you can see, I just destroyed this armored enemy. I'm going to try my best to teach you everything you need to know about this weapon. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get it. All right, chat, so I took this in the dark zone. These homies were nice enough to just let me test it on them. You know, this is when we first got the stacks. I wanted to see if it would down them all, but you actually have to uh, hit each one of them. It does insane damage, as you can see. My man right here had an insane armor build and almost uh, one-shot him. But yeah, this thing does a good amount of damage right here. I had like three stacks only, and it, it destroyed the dude, man. Like, if you have five stacks, you're gonna double your damage. And it's gonna just be insane but yeah i was just testing the build and you know as you can see i was getting shot by the homie but yeah this thing uh kind of claps bro i'm gonna go ahead and uh, kill him stack him up a few times and then right there the the normal weapon does enough damage by itself dudes but yeah this weapon has a lot of different functions and it absolutely destroys heavies in the raid or in any other mission honestly another uh, way you could use this weapon is by to stagger out morozova when she's about to do her rocket you can go ahead and you just need one stack you don't need any damage but yeah it comes really useful because she kills a lot of people with this rocket launch Especially when they're uh, stacked up together. Hey, uh, you the rocket? But yeah, super, super useful exotic, man. I'm, I'm having a blast with it. This is like the best function that I've got from it so far. So right here, as you can see, my man Otter joined me. I literally like, I appreciate him, man. But I, I didn't want to take it from him. You know, I wanted him to enjoy it. He gave it to me so I could make this video for you guys. And then he left the group. <laughs> and you weren't nice. there. I couldn't even give oh. it back to him. So I had to take it, man, and oh, I appreciate him. Let's get some love for Otter. Nah, bro. All right, let me join first then, bro. <laughs> but yeah, this is a named enemy, and you can absolutely destroy them. It is crazy how much damage you can get out of this build. And uh, this is how I'm running it right now, all right? So I'm running a sharpshooter because this is a rifle, all right? So if you don't know the talents, I'll go ahead and explain it to you. Gary and Freaky, okay? Or Frecky. So on trigger pull, you're going to fire both barrels. If you look at the weapon on the end of the tip, it has two barrels. Uh, when fired from the right shoulder, you hit an offensive primer. And uh, defensive primers when you shoot from the left side. So both sides have different primers and they do different things, okay? So... Hits from one shoulder would detonate all the opposite shoulders primers when present. So you could literally uh, detonate one primer if you wanted to. But it wouldn't be as effective as uh, having a max stat. So let me uh, go ahead and show you though. Just want to make sure you understand what the primers mean and what detonating them means. So when you detonate each one, it deals 100% weapon damage. While each defensive primer grants 4%. Bonus armor and 10% amplified damage to armor plates, okay? Armored plates is different from armor, all right? So armor plates is what you find on a heavy or what you find on a black tusk heavy, what you find on dogs. Those are all armor plating, and that's where this weapon will benefit the most. All right, so primer effectiveness is doubled at 10 stacks, okay? So whenever you have 10 stacks right here, so five shots, basically because it shoots twice, right? That'll give you 10 stacks. You swap over, you're going to get... So we're getting 8 million. We'll shoot them in the chest right here. Stack up four times. And then we get a 7 million proc right here. If we stack up all the way on blue, we'll get all our armor. But we won't get the amplified damage. But if you look at my armor, my armor is stacked right now. So then we'll go over here and we'll finish this guy. Easy, right? So I'm going to show you this uh, building in some gameplay. You definitely want to have 10 stacks to double the effectiveness of the primer. So I would always make sure on top of the target that this thing is full. That way you can swap and get that extra damage. As you can see, I took off all his armor, almost killing him. I'm sure if I were to run uh, something that gives me more damage, like, you know, uh, Sacrifice and Providence, I would be able to one-tap it. But, you know, that, that makes you really vulnerable to taking damage and a lot of other things so you know 
I don't know if I would really uh, advise that. But, you know, you could do anything you want. You could run the build however you enjoy, right? So, as you can see, when I put these two on, I literally uh, just have to stack them up one time and kill the named enemy. So, remember, when you have this type of damage, though, you're going to be taking more damage. And you could also die, right? So, you could try Providence on it if you wanted to. And you still might be able to do a good amount of damage. But you won't one-tap it. You know what I'm saying? So sacrifice and uh providence will do you do you the most damage if you have like a healer or somebody i mean uh yeah a healer a healer or a tank will help you stay alive and wouldn't be a bad option right so my boy wids was in my channel hanging out and he gave me uh the thought of using bloodsucker and it actually felt really good no lie um bloodsucker with whatever you want i'll try sacrifice here one time and then every time you get a kill, you get that armor plus all your bonus armor right here. Which will be uh, phenomenal, right? But it's all up to you if you want to run your build like that. I'm probably going to run a Adrenaline Rush since you have to use this in close range. But I also enjoyed when I used the Bloodsucker. Because getting that armor on kill is phenomenal, right? Plus you could like stack up all the armor on the left side if you wanted to. You can shoot from the left side when you see the blue primers. That's showing, that's giving you the bonus armor, okay? Which will be 8% if you uh, stack it up. Make sure you're stacking it up. That way you can get that fat armor. We'll make sure the whole symbol is stacked. And then boom. We have that nice amount of armor on our on our character. Plus Bloodsucker proccing. So for demonstration uh, purposes, I'm going to run this build for you guys. With uh, Intimidate. And we'll run a heroic mission. I'm running a crit hit damage. Fox prayers to give me that rifle damage. Plus that damage out of cover. If you want to, you can run contractors for armor damage. That's your choice. Right here we have a crit hit chance. Just to get us up to that 50. Just in case you're playing with a team. It'll be really good for you. Uh, you also have the coyotes mask. So I would suggest using a rifle with this build. Either the 1886 that has the highest base damage on a rifle in my opinion i might be wrong but uh if not you could use the m18 which has a lower got nerfed this patch but uh still really strong and uh rifleman on either or whatever you want boomerang whatever your heart desires right so i'll use this for now and we'll run the build like this okay so this will be for our range and then when we're up close on a target we'll pull out all right my people so i ran this through a few heroic missions solo and I feel like this is probably the best like synergy for this weapon for you to be solo because I want to say like you're going to get a lot of bonus armor from the weapon. But then like when you're when you're fighting ads, man, and you're far away, those NPCs are going to be able to like, you know, just beam you and destroy you. And, you know, if you're not really regening armor, it kind of makes it hard to play this weapon. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Unless you're playing like range rifle, right? Then then it's easy. But if you're trying to get up close and personal with this weapon, I would probably use three foundry bulwark. I would also advise that using some armor on the build since the armor kind of like works off of uh, the bonus armor works off of your armor, right? So I would suggest like three and three for PVE. You know, for PVP, you probably want to go with more blues because this weapon is going to absolutely annihilate people in my opinion. And uh, yeah, this is how I suggest you run it. If you're solo and you're having trouble, if you're not having trouble with the all red build and you're just melting through enemies by all means, then run it like that. But if you're having trouble, man, I suggest three bulwark like this. Fox prayer knee pass to give you that rifle damage plus 8% multiplicative damage. Then the adrenaline rush. So when you're up close on enemies, you're getting armor then intimidate because you're going to be close within 10 meters of an enemy and you can get that 35 percent amplified damage that you don't even really need honestly but you know it doesn't hurt you to have right this weapon is going to do all the work it's insane all right guys so remember each offensive primer deals 100 percent weapon damage okay guys so you're going to primer it up up to 10 and then you're going to double that all right at 10 stacks okay so only five bullets because there's two barrels, two bullets at a time. Five shots, 10 stacks, swap, 
And it's even the same on uh, the defensive primer, the blue one. So 4% armor bonus and 10% amplified damage to armor plays for 5 seconds. So, you know, if you have that, then that's 8% per stack and 20% amplified damage per stack, right? So at least that's how I'm understanding the weapon. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. And uh, let's check this out. Good work. Go on ahead, back up. The team from the campus is taking position. In All right, fam. Heroics only. Here we go. After playing with it for a while, solo on heroic. I feel like this is the best way to use it right now. Solo heroic. This is my opinion. The weapon is really powerful, and uh, I've been using uh, blue side a little bit. That way, I could get that bonus armor. And then whenever I'm lacking, I'll just stay on my blue side, right? Like whenever I feel like I need to get armor, if you kill them while they're uh, while you're on your blue side, you get that armor buff, right? So I would like try to kill reds and then stack up on uh, purples with that bonus damage, you know, double damage. And then as soon as I feel like I can use some armor on purples, I'll build up that armor. I'm also getting armor for my talents which helped me tremendously. And this thing is pretty accurate too, so you know. Got a visual on additional you can uh, hit headshots pretty good, but They're moving south. They're this build this build is a little different than what most of you are probably going to be used to, but like I said, with the power that this weapon offers, man, I think this is the best way to run it personally, so. Yo, I just want to thank you guys for watching my content, man. We'll be live on uh, Twitch in about an hour or so, man. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. Make sure you follow the Twitch. We also have memberships new on the channel. If you want to support your boy on YouTube, you can. If not, it's totally understood, man. Thank you guys for watching, though, like I said. And uh, make sure you're using them Twitch primes over on Twitch, baby. I'll catch you later. Take it easy. Any questions, just let me know, man, uh, either in the comment section or send me a dm and i got you baby be safe y'all